ಸಂತೋಷಯತಾ ಸಂತೌ ಶ್ರೀಲ ರೂಪ ಸನಾತನ ದಾಕ್ಷಿಣಾತ್ಯನ ಭಟ್ಟೇನ ಪುನರೇ ತದ್ವಿವಿಚ್ಯತೆ ತಸ್ಯಾದ್ಯ ಗ್ರಂಥನಾಲೇಕ ಕ್ರಾಂತವ್ಯುತ್ಕ್ರಾಂತಖಂಡಿತ ಪರ್ಯಾಲೋಚ್ಯಾಥ ಪರ್ಯಾಕತಿ ಜೀವಕ ಸೊ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸೊ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಸುಖದೇವ್ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿಸ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಅಭಿಧೇಯ ಶ್ರವಣ ಕೀರ್ತನ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ರೆಕಮೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಸೊ ಸುಖದೇವ್ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಯೋಗ ಮಿಶ್ರ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಮಿಶ್ರ ಯೋಗ ಸೊ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಸೈಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಾಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಸೆಡ್ ನಹಿ ಹ್ಯನ್ಯತೋ ಶಿವ ಪಂತ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸೊ ನಹ್ಯತೋನ್ಯ ಶಿವ ಪಂತ ಸೊ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಸೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಯಾ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ದ್ಯಾ ಗುಡ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿ ಬೆಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಯೋಗ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಮಿಶ್ರ ಯೋಗ ದೆನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಸೈಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ತಸ್ಮಾದ್ ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮನ ನೋಡಿ ದಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ತಸ್ಮಾ ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮನ ರಾಜನ್ ಹರಿ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಸರ್ವದ ಶ್ರೋತವ್ಯ ಕೀರ್ತಿತವ್ಯ ಸ್ಮರ್ತವ್ಯ yeah so he is saying hari has to be heard that means hari and also hari should be chanted that means glories of the hari should be glories of the hari should be heard glories of the hari should be chanted and hari should be remembered so like this we have seen there and finally he is saying that shravanam is the pradhana actually so how can you say shravanam is the pradhana out of all these now nine fold process so what is the important which is main the main thing is shravanam how can you say shravanam so pibandi ye bhagavata atma satam so from this so we can understand finally so whoever is hearing or not drinking actually drinking the past times of the lord and his devotees they are purifying their heart and also they are getting the service at the lotus feet of the supreme lord so from this we should understand so sukadev goswami is clearly saying shravanam is the pradhana anga out of nine total and by this the purification of the heart is such a way it will happen so no other process can do like that okay this is done i hope everything is clear next we will go to the next anushtha 30 first anushtha evam praktanadhyayabhyam karma yoga gnanebhya ಕರ್ಮ ಯೋಗ ಜ್ಞಾನೇಭ್ಯ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠತ್ವ ಉಕ್ತ ತದುತ್ತರಾಧ್ಯಾಯೇಪಿ ಸರ್ವದೇವತೋಪಾಸನೆಭ್ಯ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠತ್ವ ಪ್ರವಚನ ಭಗವದ್ಭಕ್ತಿಯೋಗ ಅಭಿಧೇಯತ್ವ ಆಹ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೂತ್ರಸ್ಥಾನ ಇನ್ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಸೈಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಟು ದ ಲಾಡ್ ಈಸ್ superior to the karma gnana and yoga so in previous two chapters in the previous two chapters we are seeing this karma yoga and gnana compared to these three process bhakti is a superior that is said and then after that in the previous two chapters and in the third chapter what is said ತದುತ್ತರಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ಸರ್ವದೇವತಾ ಸರ್ವದೇವತೋಪಾಸನೆಭ್ಯ 
ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠತ್ವ ಪ್ರವಚನೇನ ಭಗವದ್ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯೋಗಸ್ಯವ ಅಭಿಧೇಯತ್ವ ಮಾಹ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಸುಖದೇವ್ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಾಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಗೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಟು ದೋಸ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಡೂ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಟು ದ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸೊ ಭಗವದ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯೋಗ ಸೇವ ಅಭಿಧೇಯತ್ವ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸೋತು ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ತ್ರಿಗುಣ ತ್ರಿಗುಣ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಾರಿ ಗುಣಾವತಾರಾಸ್ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾವತಾರಾಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಶಿವ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೊ ವರ್ಷಿಪಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಿವ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರಿಸೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದರ್ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಇನ್ಫೀರಿಯರ್ ಟು ದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಿವ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ರಿಸೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಸೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದರ್ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಸೊ ಅದರ್ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಸೊ ತತ್ರ ಶ್ರೇಯಾಂಸಿ ಖಲು ಸತ್ವತನೋಹ ನೃಣಾಂಸಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದೇರ್ ನಾವು ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಶುಡ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ದಿ ಹರಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಮೇ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ದಿ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದಿ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಅದರ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಮತ್ತೆ ದೆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಎಸ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಕಾಮ ಸರ್ವ ಕಾಮೋ ವಾ ಅಕಾಮ ಸರ್ವ ಕಾಮೋ ವಾ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಕಾಮ ಉದಾರಧಿ ತೀವ್ರೇಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯೋಗೇನ ಯಜೇತ ಪುರುಷಂ ಪರಂ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಎನಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವರ್ಚ ಕಾಮಸ್ತು ಯಜೇತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಪತಿ ಇತ್ಯಾದ್ಯನಂತರ just before to this you will be seeing that brahma varcha kamastu that is the second shloka brahma varcha varchasa kamastu yajeta brahmana in this third can third chapter second can to third chapter if you want you can open the mula and see on this flow of this shloka so one who is brahma varchasa kamaha if one is desiring the brahma varchas effulgence of the brahman so then what he should do he should worship the brahmanas patim brahmanah pratim and indriyadi kamastu so if one is uh, desiring the the pleasure of the senses then he should worship the indram if one is desiring the children he should worship prajapati if one is desiring uh, sri kamaha wealth then he should worship devi one is is desiring the tejas then vibhavasum and one is desiring the like that virya kamaha so rudran various are there then after saying this finally in the 10th shloka it is said that akama sarva kamo va moksha kamo udaradihi tivrena bhakti yogena ejeta purusham param the meaning of this shloka is like this the unalloyed devotees the person with all desires stated and unstated and even the person with the with a desire for liberation who has good intelligence should worship supreme lord with intense bhakti so here what is sukadev goswami is recommending so hey parikshit if you have all the kinds of the desires whatever i mentioned no problem if you want to get satisfied all these desires at one time from one person that is also possible you should worship purusham param so ultimate purusha or otherwise if you desire only akamaha means only pure bhakti unalloyed devotional service 
That means anyabilashta sunyam. Akamaha means you can take here. Anyabilashta sunyam. So if you want pure devotional service, in that case also you can worship. So you should worship Supreme Lord. And moksha kamaha, if you desire the liberation, in that case also you should worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So but how you should worship? Tivrena. There is a so adjective is there. This is a this is a kriya visheshan. It is adjective for what? It is adjective for the action kriya. Ejeta. Ejeta is a kriya. For that, tivrena is the adjective. So how they should worship? Tivrena ejeta. That means with the intense, with full intense, they should worship. Why it is said like that? That means even if you want a little thing from him, but you should do the tivra bhakti. The reason is, Tika, if you see, you will understand the reason. Uh, tika acha, follow the Tika acha. Uh, akamaha means Aikanta bhaktaha. That is Nishkinchana bhaktaha. Otherwise, Suddha bhaktaha. Next, Sarvakamaha means Ukta Anukta Sarvakamaha. Whatever the desires are explained previously in this chapter, before to this sloka. All those desires and Ukta means said, Anukta means it's not said. All those desires are otherwise Sarva Kamaha, so means that Moksha Kamaha, liberation. Then what he should do? Purusham Param. Param means Nirupadim Ityesha. So he should worship the Purusham Param Nirupadim. Purusham means Purnam. Purusham means Purnam. Param means Nirupadim. That means Nirupadim Purnam Vijayata. Who is that Nirupadi and also Purnam? That is the Bhagavan. So Sridhar Swami is saying in this sloka Purusha means so this is Nirupadi Purusha. And in the previous sloka, if you see, Kama Kamu, Ejeta, Soma Kamaha, Purusham Param. There also Purusham Param is there. There Purusham Param means Sopadikam Purusha, Vidhi Upadi. So this is the difference between the two Purushas. If you see in this, I'm going just a little bit slightly, slightly out of the topic, but just for your information, Tattva Sandarbha students also were having the this kind of doubt at that time. So what is that? You see in this sloka number 9 and 10 of this chapter, Purusham Param is the common word. So in the previous sloka, that means in the ninth sloka, Purusham Param means Sopadikam Purusham is said. Here in this tenth sloka, Purusham Param means Nirupadi, Nirupadim Purusham is said. Nirupadim Purnam is said. Nirupadim is said here. Param means here Nirupadim is said. There Param means Sopadim is said. So what is the difference between that? So Purusha with Upadi means whom we should take. Purusha with the Upadi is Paramatma. So Purusha without Upadi, who is that? That is the Bhagavan. These are the, this is the difference between them. So Paramatma is always with the, accompanied with the Maya. So Maya. So that's why this Maya is giving the Upadi. Example we have seen. So what is that in the second, can, first chapter, second, first can the second chapter we are seeing that Ekaha Purusha Prakrute Erguna Sattvara Jastameti Prakrute Erguna Tair Yuktaha Ekaha Purusha Ihasya Dhatte There we are seeing that one Purusha is taking the three avataras. So what is that? Hari Virinch Hareti Sangyaha. There Hari also we are seeing. Hari is accompanied with what? Sattvaguna. Of course that Sattvaguna is not giving the any qualities in the Sarupa. Because that Sattvaguna is always external to the Lord's Sarupa. Lord's form. So that's why. But it is accompanied with him. So that's why there Sattvaguna is the Upadi for the Hari. So similarly for all the Paramatmas. Three Paramatmas are there. Three kinds of the Paramatmas. For all of them, there is Upadi is there. Upadi means they are always accompanied with the Maya. So with respect to the Maya, that means what you should understand, they are accompanied with the Maya and that's why they are known as the Purusha. So if you say husband, without wife, can you call? There is any point of husband? 
so that means there is a husband title is given based upon the some other one similarly here purusha is given so for the paramatma purusha notion is given because he is a controller of the maya based upon that purusha is given that's why purusha avatars are always accompanied with the maya so those are all sopadikam those forms are all sopadikam but if you come to the bhagavan who is in the goloka in the highest planet so highest vaikuntha he is staying and he is nirupadikam that means he is not having anything that means any upadi with him what is upadi i already explained so there is no upadi he is completely with his own energies own energies means he is always with his swarupa shakti swarupa energies which are in the his swarupa but here in the case of the paramatma or the purusha avatara he is with the maya shakti which is not in the swarupa what is the difference between internal energy and the external energy external energy is always outside to the swarupa of the lord but internal energy is that is the cause for the having the form of the lord internal energy role is that so that's why he is accompanied with the internal energy accompanied with means that in internal energy is himself is not having any difference that swarupa is due to that the manifestation of swarupa of the bhagavan is due to the internal potency only is going or out vomiting no na getting vomit no na okay <clears throat> so in the goloka there is no that means krishna is not accompanied with the maya shakti with there there is no maya shakti there so purely he is always with the chit shakti but in the case of the paramatma but he is accompanied with the maya shakti yes that's why he is sopadi sopadim okay anyway that is a side point now come to the our main discussion so purusham means here purnam param means nirupadim so that means this is indicating the supreme personality of god head krishna only so one should worship krishna so with the tivra bhakti tivrena means drudena swabhavatah eva anubhagatyena that means it's a naturally very strong you should do very strong bhakti iti vigna anavaksh anavakashata ukta so so that if you if you do strong bhakti there will be no obstacles a weak bhakti means there will be uh, no scope for the obstacles so that is the point here so the word tivrena means firmly natural without weakness thus it is stated that there is no scope for obstacles desires may arise spontaneously also uh, what lila going prabhu भगवान इज ओनली विद स्वरूप शक्ति एंड एंड परमात्मा इज अलोंग विद माया शक्ति सो जस्ट लाइक क्विक क्वेश्चन लाइक दि जन्मादि फर्स्ट वर्ष ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम वेर इज मेन्शनिंग स्वरूप लक्षण तथा लक्षण is yes. that indicating the supreme lord or is it indicating the lord uh, like paramatma is indicating the supreme lord and uh, paramatma is not different from the supreme lord because he is a swamsha and that's why we are taking that also see somewhere we'll show the difference between paramatma and bhagwan and some places we don't discuss that difference because both are same both are same means swamsha only that's why in that respect sometimes we'll be saying vishnu is krishna only and whenever there is a necessity there we are showing vishnu is different and krishna is different where is necessary that to take and where is not necessary that's depends upon the commentary on the earth. so in that if you see if you come to the our first shloka so it's a obvious generally it is spoken so vishnu krishna narayana all are so as with the same sense it is taken in that sense it is taken 
So, Prabhu, so, so same way we can take that Ishwara Parama Krishna. So that uh, that also basically talking about uh, Lord Krishna only directly. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Lelo. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji, you mentioned that uh, there are three Paramatmas. This is a three Purushas are called three Paramatmas, sir. Separate. Yes. Three categories of Paramat. Not three Paramatmas. Many are there. Paramatmas are millions of Paramatmas are. Millions of Brahmandas means millions of Paramatmas. Three categories of Paramatmas means? Karnarno Sai Vishnu, Garbodaka Sai Vishnu, or Shirodaka Sai Vishnu. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Prabhu said Purusa, just like you gave example. Husband means Purusa accompanied with Prakriti. That's why Purusa word we gave. So Purusa also used as a Krishna also. Just like Purnam Pursam, just like Vyasdevsa. Yeah. That is a, yes. that is a Purnam Pursam. Here is also Purnam Pursam. So that is a Purusa is indicated. But there we don't say example accompanied with Maya. How to know? Krishna's case, how is a Purusha? Yes, yes that is the yes, point. Yes. Because you gave example, ki Purusha means when he's a husband, that means wife is there. Because yeah. he's accompanied with Maya, yeah. that's why Purusha we say. So what, what do you say? That means Krishna is not young wife? <laughs> Krishna, Krishna is a Purusha. For Krishna case, you said don't have Maya. That is Maya is not there, but wife is there or not. <laughs> then he's also Purusha. <laughs> Krishna is the Adi Purusha. Yeah, the original Purusha. He is also, Purusha means what? He is the controller and Shakti. So, control thing, whatever is control thing, that is, is, is always indicated with the feminine gender. Anything is controlled, that object is indicated with the feminine gender and the control is, is, is indicated with the, denoted with the masculine gender. So, that's why Purusha is a controller. And energy is controlled. So he's also having energy. Krishna is also having energy, his own potencies, the Swarupa Shaktis. He's there and he's controlling them. So that's why he's also Adi Purusha. And here Purusha is Paramatma. So he is controlling the Maya. So that's why he is yes. So he is known as Purusha. Yes, Sri Chand Prabhu, yes. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhu. Yeah. Prabhu here, uh, in this verse, Sarkama Sarva Kama, Tivrena Bhakti Yogena Ajaita Purusham Param. So here, this Purusham Param refers to uh, either in spiritual world, Krishna or uh, not the... Uh, but we also told that previously, even the Purushavataras, we can worship without Upadis. So we can do this Tivra Bhakti to even this Purushavataras without Upadis too. Yeah, previously, we were discussing Vishnu without Upadi, if we worship, then uh -huh. that is Bhakti only, actually. That's Bhakti, yeah? We discussed. Uh -huh. So, this, this uh, Pura Bhakti can be done to that Vishnu also, Shira Dakshay Vishnu. Yeah. The Purusha Paras also. Yes. So, then Krishna uh -huh. will reciprocate in that way only. Then he will get that much rasa only. Uh -huh. But uh, Sukadeva Goswami is recommending... My dear brother, don't go with that. You go to the Supreme. You put the highest target. Mm -hmm. So, don't put the Paramatma is as your target, Vishnu as your target. Then because in the Vishnu's case, you will not get the, all the rasas. Uh -huh. Only Aishwarya Bhava. You can like, maximum get the, that kind of rasa only. But if you mm -hmm. go to Krishna, then all the, the five primary rasas, those will be manifesting. So, that's why he is saying, Purusham Param, that means Sridhar Swami is saying clearly, here Purusham Param means Nirupadhim. That means, that is establishing here, that is Krishna. Nirupadhi Purusha is a Krishna. Yeah. Yes, Prabhu. Good question. Next. <clears throat> okay, next. Tivrena Drudena Sobhavate Sobhavataha Eva Anupaghatyena Iti Vigna anavash, anavakashita ukta. Okay. So that there will be no obstacles if you do the Dhruda Bhakti. If you determine to do the Dhruda Bhakti, then there will be no obstacles. If you have only weak Bhakti, 
with any obstacle that will be stopped so what is the intention of this why he is going why he is saying like this he is coming next actually kamana tu edru yadrichikena api syat yathoktam bhaktakshana kshano vishno smriti seva svaveshmani स्वोज्यपणम दान फल इंद्रादि दुर्लभम सो वाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस श्लोक इट इज डिवोटिस टाइम इज विष्णु टाइम ट्रांसडेंटल सर्विस मीन रिमेबरिंग विष्णु सर्विस मीन रिमेबरिंग विष्णु इन वन हाउस चारिटी मीन आफरिंग टू द लॉर्ड what one will enjoy the result of which cannot be attained even by indra and others what is said here bhakta kshana vishnu kshana so devotees one one second one minute is vishnu time that means there is a devotional seva means what in his own house remember in the krishna this is the seva actually next what is the danam charity means what offering the so bhojya to the lord that is the danam actually so phalam means what okay then if you do like this then this kind of phalam is phalam indradi durlabham that means the result of which cannot be attained even by indra and others so that's why this shloka is establishing that so do the worship of the supreme lord then the result whatever you will get that you cannot imagine also even indra and others also they don't get that kind of results so such a highest result you are going to get so that means devotion towards the supreme lord is encouraged तदुक्तम श्री कर्दम प्रति इवेन टूवर्ड्स द कर्दम आल्सो इज सेड सो सुप्रीम लॉर्ड विष्णु ओनली ही इज सेइंग टू कर्दम कर्दम स्टोरी यू इट कम्स इन द थर्ड कैंटो 21st चैप्टर सो कर्दम मुनि वाज डूइंग द मेडिटेशन सर तपस्या ही वाज डूइंग बिंदु सरोवर सो व्हाट इज विद द डिजायर ऑफ हैविंग अ गुड वाइफ सो ही वांट्स बिकॉज़ हिज फादर टोल्ड टू हिम यू प्रोड्यूस द चिल्ड्रन expand the mission so that is the my desire so then a obedient child son he went to that place and he started doing that meditation so then after that finally lord get pleased by this and he appeared and he says finally navai jatu mrsha evasyat prajadyaksha madarhanam third canto 21st chapter 24th shloka if you see what lord supreme lord is saying or else in this way one with uh, oh director of progeny the worship of me worship the worshiping uh, worship worshiping me is never fruitless that means worship of the supreme lord, worshiping supreme lord will never be fruitless it is always yeah give the result काम तीव्रेण एवेता सो दट मीन फाइनली वाट इज सैड इफ यू वर्शिप दि सुप्रीम लॉर्ड नथिंग इज गोइंग टू वेन सो एव्रीथिंग विल गिव दि रिजल्ट अंड फाइनली यथावा यम तीव्रेण यजेता वाट एवर डिजैर यू हव you are coming to the main point here tivrena shabda why it is used the point is yat tat kamah tivrena eva ejeta even if you have small desire or big desire material desire or spiritual desire or any desire but bhakti should be done very strong bhakti should be done who is saying sukadev goswami is saying like this why he is saying like this ततश्चा बाय दैट व्हाट विल हैपन ततश्चा शुद्ध भक्ति संपादनायैव अन्ते पर्यवसिष्यति 
इति असौ अभिप्रायेण सविशेषण उपदिष्टम वै सुखदेव गोस्वामी सिंग तीव्रेण भक्ति योगेन द मेन रीजन इज सो वाट ही वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग ही ऑल्सो वेल विशर ऑफ एवरी लिविंग एंटिटी सो दट्स वै ही इज रिक्वेस्टिंग ऑल द लिविंग एंटिटीज वॉट एवर डिजायर यू हेव नो प्रॉब्लम सो डिजायर कैन कम एट एनी टाइम इट्स एक्सीडेंटल ही सिंग इन द प्रीवियस्ली कामना तो यादृच्छिक सैत एट एनी टाइम डिजायर कैन कम सडनली ऑल ऑफ सडनली यू आर सी something and you, the desire may arise so no problem having desire is not a problem so any material desire also no problem but to fulfill that desire you should worship the krishna but tivra bhakti it well strong bhakti you should use the strong bhakti to get fulfilled of that that desire then what will happen by doing the strong desire the strong bhakti if you do what what is the expectation that will turn to the shuddha bhakti that will turn into the shuddha bhakti so kudai goswami what is saying so he what he said uh, whatever desire na pull uh, strong do a strong bhakti uh, small desire big what, desire middle desire. desire spiritual desire any desire so but devotee does not devotee desire comes a devotee does not want this desire to be fulfilled out of forceful the desire comes but he, he but you said like that na whatever desire is that na do strong bhakti that desire will be fulfilled but devotee does not want that desire because this undesirable things desiring so Co- how to no, no, come again devotee pratik sadaka sadaka has a material desire comes i uh-huh. said the kamam tu yadrachya ake napsya that desire can any time can come yadrachya ha uh-huh. so material desire comes out uh-huh. but that de- desire devotee does not like like that it should not come like that okay he does not want to he should be fulfilled ah. because it's not uh, desirable not appreciated yes. so uh, not good for devotional service but and as well as one should do intense bhakti ah. to fulfill that desire ah. so i could not understand devotee should not get desire no, so not get desire ah. the desire ah. may naturally come because it cannot be stopped yes. because कामं तो यद्रच्छ्यादेर question question uh-huh. one should do uh-huh. whether desire whatever desire the little desire is big desire uh-huh. one should do only intense bhakti uh-huh. uh, by doing intense bhakti the desire will be fulfilled yes incidental desire will fulfilled because yes. so but desire will fulfilled means yeah i understood now so what you are saying that sukadev goswami is encouraging desires that's why you want to ask actually he is encouraging desires and uh, uh, and also he is uh, putting a rule one should do the intense bhakti so now your point is sadaka so should not get the material desires so that that could have been said here that means uh, why that kind of uh, so thing is not said here the context is what prabhu here the context is so person whoever is having the desire materialistic person we are taking here as a materialistic person of course devotees also if they get material desires so for them also this is only solution so they should not get desires material desires means they should not run behind that but if still they are not in that level of bhakti then what they should do so then they have to do the tivra bhakti only so get it fulfilled do the tivra bhakti to get it fulfilled then what will happen by doing that lord will fulfill that so, so lord fulfilled and one time he will fulfill second time also he will fulfill so that means one time if he fulfilled pa so i will do more intensely next time yes i want more bigger thing and i will do second time okay second time also you do uh, he will fulfill then you will you will desire even more bigger one and it strong devotion with full faith you will do yes if i desire and he will definitely fulfill if i do his devotion then with full shraddha you will do 
then what will he will do then like mother so mother sometimes small children they are eating mud so what they will mother what she will do so okay beta mud you are eating so why you are eating this mud don't eat so she will bring that boy from that mud and clean that mud and she will put some sweet in his mouth similarly bhakti maharani what she will do okay you are desiring this mud you don't because he is doing his strong devotion na teevra devotion so by this what will happen bhakti maharani will will be strong in your heart then what she will do she will take out that material desire then what will happen in the third fourth time you will stop desiring the material things i don't want <laughs> so that means he came initially he started worshiping initially with the desire only then after that so those are all fulfilled by the bhakti maharani and then one two times she will fulfill then after that she will destroy the material desire itself the root she will destroy then after that what will happen he will not at all getting any interest to enjoy material things so such a way she will do so that is the intention actually sukadev goswami is giving the so such a instruction for us so that it will benefit even materialistic person if you do only that much devotion devotion by by that you can fulfill your material desires he didn't say like that do strong devotion then that will destroy the your material desire finish it then that will turn into the suddha bhakti so that's why even devotees they get then what should they do they cannot stop then then take the shelter of the lord himself and do the strong devotion for that but if your intelligence is working and i am not i should not want then don't don't desire it that is also good but if you desire it then do the strong devotion so like this uh he is saying that uh, sukadev goswami there is a one on wait wait prabhu who is that pakul anand how how do we can we, how can we engage in the vrena bhakti if, if we are full of desires and the heart is prabhu satyam dishati you can check that sat slok uh, ha huh? 5.19 ah uh, 19 yes yes i forgot the number ha uh, ha uh, ha uh, yes yes good good सत्यम दिशत्यर्दितमर्दित नृण नईवादो यदर्दिता स्वयं विधत्ते भय भजता पिदान निज पाद पल्लव हियर इट इज सत्यम दिशति अर्दितम अर्दिता दट मीन हू एवर इज बेगिंग वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट सो डेफिनेटली शी विल गिव दट सो सत्यम दिशति अर्दितम अर्दिता इज आई एम रीडिंग फ्रॉम दि फिफ्थ कैंटो नाइनटीन चाप्टर श्लोक नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवेन नईवाद तो युनरदिता यहां इफ यू आस्क नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट देन शी विल नॉट गिव नईवाद शी विल नॉट गिव दट देन वाट शी विल डू सो स्वयं विधत्ते भजता anichatam ichcha pidanam she will stop the pidanam means closing even they will stop you so that you will not get the any material desire and she will give nijapada pallavam she will give the attraction towards the lotus feet of the lord ha huh? yeah even he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't want to Uh, desire the lotus feet she will give that <laughs> that she will do <laughs> that means material desire if you have she will fulfill one time but second time she will not fulfill next 
second time means one or two times she will not fulfill and even if you don't desire the his lotus feet she will give that and she will stop your material desires finish okay srichand prabhu ah uh, prabhu uh, in offenses to holy name we tell to not, to maintain material attachments even after understanding so many instructions on this matter so if we just uh, desire material thing that is offense no prabhu yeah on the strength of the yeah so if uh, if one is having the uh material desires so to fulfill the material desires so but that's why it is said so even after understanding so many instructions that's the last instruction huh last offense what is the tenth offense so even after the so many instructions on this matter maintaining some medical Maintain attachment. material attachments material attachment huh. so do not have complete faith and medil one is maintaining medical attachment so this is also yeah. offense towards the holy name yeah. so that's why what is said you should do tivra bhakti tivra bhakti one should do so this is going to what so this is going to destroy the offense also and and also it will take you out from that your understanding if you do the normal bhakti so then that is offense and finished so if you if you have a such a blazing fire what it will do it will destroy the the, the tendencies itself so that's a tivar bhakti he is recommending and so, this desire should not be sinful desire no prabhu huh? this desire, desire what means, desire means all the time it is a sastric sa- recommended that means whatever shastra is allowing that desire only sinful desire mm-hmm. is 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 uh, is always prohibited even for the material man it is prohibited then what to speak of spiritual per, mm-hmm. spiritual person uh, so, so, spir- material uh, sinful desire is not at all topic of discussion here mm-hmm. akama sarva kama means it is uh, is allowed desires only that means for that ashrama and varana if it is allowed that only mm-hmm. sinful desire is, then, is then, no question mm-hmm. actually So when preaching, we will tell to chant holy name for fulfilling material desire. If they are having so many material desire, like that, can we tell Prabhu? What Prabhu? Uh, when preaching, if someone is having so many material desires, can we tell them to chant so much and to for fulfilling material desire? Yeah, prakrit bhakta. So even in the Bhagavad Gita also. So what is that? Uh, artho arthadi. So jignas. Jignas and jani. so these are the prakrit bhaktas they are coming at the lotus feet of the lord for the out of the miseries or out of the uh, some material desires anything actually so that is mm-hmm. also encouraged they are also they are not sukritinah those are all not duskritinah so those are the four types of this good people and four types of the bad so these are the four types of the good people like mahatmas yes lord mm-hmm. is also counting them as mahatmas because that is also lord is sim, he himself is advertising even if you want something if you have some pain so please come to me no problem so so that that is also devotion and that will turn definitely that will turn into the so into the pure devotional service that is expectation actually so it is not wrong to say let uh, chant holy name to fulfill material desire if they have so much material so much material desires if you have then but what is the, our philosophy so philosophy is so they should not struck in that actually so they should not do the like how vasudev did vasudev what he did he made bhakti is the is the gauna is a helping tool for the karma actually so that means they are not given the poor in the case of mahabharat if you see the many many cases many many places many many situations you will be seeing that so karma is highlighted and where bhakti is supporting to that so that's why people once again should not get trapped like that that means once again we should not do same mistake what happened in the mahabharat so that's why now bhagavatam is is given for us so to establish dharma projit kaitavotra that means 
to establish the pure devotional service so that's why we are from the day one we are trying to educate them actually the difference between these two difference between the the material desires and the the significance and the glory of the bhakti we are clearly saying so so that so this consciousness will definitely will save them actually by say, teaching like this so that's why if you you should say pure devotional service only we should preach but as obviously one will not follow that so he may go down little bit so but ultimately he will come to this so that's why as much as possible we should encourage pure devotional service only but uh, if you also as a preacher if we encourage directly that then they will not understand pure devotional service there is a danger one more danger will come actually there so that's why we should educate audience with the pure devotional service definitely they may not follow that but they will endure at least for that so so that they will saved but even without knowledge even if we don't educate if they do this tivra bhakti for material desire that will turn into pure devotional service yeah mm-hmm. that is a point uh, sukadev goswami is saying so even if we don't give that knowledge if we just tell uh, them to ah uh, yeah see if one bhakti comes from the sadhu sangha definitely so mm-hmm. without sadhu sangha bhakti never comes so if one is doing coming to the stage of doing the tivra bhakti means so he should be having the sadhu sangha without sadhu sangha materialistic person cannot do tivra bhakti so by that sadhu mm-hmm. association uh, that will once again uh, automatically means they will be glorious the, he will be getting the association of the uh, mm-hmm. devotees so mm-hmm. that will turn that tivra bhakti will turn with the association of devotees into the pure devotional service but uh, i don't think that i cannot also practically also it's not possible doing tivra bhakti without uh, proper association is not at all possible actually it's uh, mm-hmm. very very difficult also it's, it's almost all impossible so tivra bhakti he is doing means that is possible with the association only so that's why mm-hmm. they are pulling actually they will definitely pull him so don't do why you are desiring this so don't do this and come to the stage of this pure devotional service so and also by hearing the more and more glories of the lord in the association tivra bhakti means what shravanam kirtan vishnu svaranam so how he can do alone that so he has to hear from the so sadhus so then automatically he will so by this you will understand actually the mm-hmm. position of the pure devotional service yes prabhu yeah yeah sajdev prabhu yeah hari hari krishna prabhu ji prabhu ji you said about that uh, bhakti rani bhakti maharani will be one or two prabhu your voice is out you said yes, that you said that bhakti maharani will give one or two benedictions and after that it will be stopped yes so those one or two benedictions of material desire one or two uh, material desire fulfillment so if when it is mixed with this bhakti or tivra bhakti it is already spiritualized na prabhu ji why desire is material only na yeah but then when we do bhakti then that desire gets spiritualized because you said the blazing fire is there desire spiritualized then only it will become desire is, when can you say desire is spiritualized when you desire something for the krishna then that yeah. is yeah when you connect you are, to krishna but you are want to enjoy yourself i want a big house so then how can you say it is spiritualized okay and my second question was that does the concept of thinking thinking feeling and willing comes into to play into this there is a prabhu ji you said na that uh, afterwards that uh, normally it we are taught that we should reject what is not favorable for krishna and accept what is favorable for krishna so the question arises that why to go for the material desire only apply the concept of twf thinking feeling and willing thinking willing feeling your voice is prabhu not stable actually i don't know what kind of system you are using Okay, Prabhu Ji, I'll ask afterwards. There is some problem in my system. I'll change it. So oh, please fix it, Prabhu. Otherwise, it's a problem for every day. Okay, Hari Krishna. Yeah, Ram Chandra. Hari Krishna, Prabhu. Ah, uh, 
So we, when we're discussing this sarva kama, so uh, you like I heard that you mentioned that that there is no sinful desire, only the desire related to according to varna and ashrama dharma, like whatever is desire that should be there. Yes. Ah, uh, so um, I'm just little confused about that. Uh, the the pastime in sixth canto regarding ah uh, uh, like mother deity like doing pumsun vrata to actually kill Indra. So. He, and and with that purpose, he actually executed that Pumsan Vrata. So, how do we understand that past time, Prabhu? That's not sixth canto. That's in the eighth canto. So, so I'm no, I'm talking about Diti, not Aditi, Prabhu. Diti, Diti. Yes, okay, okay, okay. At the end of the sixth canto, where Marut grants like. Yes, yes. I thought this is five Vrata. Okay. So Diti is. So. As a mother, so she can, so she wants the uh, child. So Pumsan Vrata is done for the getting the children. So what you are asking? What is the? Her desire was to basically to get a child who can kill in Indra. That was her desire, and and that, yeah. that is not not related to Orna and Ashrama. That's like you are trying to harm some other living entity. And yes. she's performing the Vishnu Vrata for that. So uh, I'm saying, which category? Like, is it coming into this one, or like, uh, how do you understand that? It's out only because that's why she lost her children. That's why that was not auspicious. Since she was having the sinful desire, she got the result also. Na? Two children she lost. Oh, that was after that. Actually, when Hrindya Kashyap and Hrindyaks killed into the battle, that's why after that she did Pumsun Vrata and she got Marutgans as 49 children after the Pumsun Vrata. So uh, that's what I'm asking. Like, like, uh, like she performed and then they become devatas. They become demigods later. So uh, like, uh, so even up uh, because she performed uh, Pumsun Vrata, so she she got like 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 Marutgans which are which are demigods now. Uh, but my question is like, 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 even though she has a, like a bad, bad desire, uh, so is that basically because she performed Vishnu Bhakti? That's why, like, is is get uh, like she got uh, the sun like uh, Marutgans. But actually, see, Prabhu, any sastra actually you'll be having the various kinds of the uh, devotees actually, and also non-devotees. But uh, everything, whatever is there in the uh, uh, incident, it is not a. Ideal incident, actually. If, for example, Kardam Muni, so he is worshiping uh, Vishnu for the sake of even that's a proper desire. That is, he wants for the good wife. Even that is also condemned, actually, by the Acharyas. So it is also Sakama Karma Yoga, Sakama Bhakti. It is. It is not the Nishkama Bhakti. So that's why you will be seeing the varieties of the uh, devotees. Actually, they are approaching to the Lord. So, but always we should grasp the from that incident so pure devotional service only if pure devotional service is not there so that is not the ideal thing we should take that's a general rule actually general principle so that's why even a mother mother aditi case also she is also desiring the that means lord as his her child so that is also not the pure devotional service their acharya srila viswana chakratakur clearly says so this is not the idealistic situation actually she is not ideal example you cannot take her as a pure devotee. So like this. So those cases will be there. And we cannot take lesson from them. Okay. So next. Okay. Uh, Thank yeah. you, bro. Yeah. So this will turn into the pure devotional service. Pariyavasashyati asau abhiprayena savisheshena upadishtam. Tadanena aikanta bhakteshu mumukshauva tad bhakti yoga seva abhideyattum kim vaktavyam apatu sarva kameshu apu iti karma sarva kameshu 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 api iti tadeva sarvatha api niranitam. So finally what we are saying. So this Devotion towards the Supreme Lord is only the recommended process. So that is recommended for the Tad Anena Aikanta Bhaktishu Mumukshova Tad Bhakti Yoga Seva Vade Kim Vaktavaya Pitu Sarvaka. That means even the people who wants liberation or who you who you want pure devotional service, for them this bhakti yoga is recommended. Then what to speak of? 
so for other cases if someone is desiring some material things so like this finally in this chapter also we are seeing bhakti is the abhideya so ka next anushyada 32 kincha etavane vayajetam yaha nisreya sodayaha bhagavatya cha lobhavo yad bhagavata sangataha so here it is said that etavane vayajetam yaha nisreya sodayaha bhagavatya cha lobhavaha yad bhagavata sangataha After saying this, if you see in this same chapter, after this, uh, this Akama Sarva Kamova, what is said? Next sloka is said, Etava Neva Yejitamiha Nisri Sodayaha. What is the translation of this? Auspiciousness arises for the worshippers of Devatas if firm bhakti for the Lord happens to arise. By association with the devotees. So that means what? Finally, Sukadev Goswami is saying that after explaining all these different uh, uh, worshipping of demigods for the different uh, results, different fruitive results. So, and also he explained Akama Sarakam finally saying that they, that demigod worship also should lead to the finally. So, what? To the bhakti. That means this is only the auspiciousness for the worshippers of the demigods. What is that? Bhagavati Achalo Bhavaha. That means getting the, the fixed devotion in the Lord. This is only the is the ultimate auspiciousness for the worshippers of the demigods also. So how that is possible? Yad Bhagavata Sangataha. That is possible by the association of devotees. Now in this, so sloka meaning is clear. Meaning is clear. Next, Tika is saying, so Purvokta Nana Devata Yajanasyapi Samyoga Pratakvena Bhakti Yoga Falatva Maha Etavaniti. So what is the Nyaya? Samyoga Pratakva. So Samyoga Pratakva Nyaya. This is a very uh, one of the new term for us. So we should remember this. Samyoga Pratakva. What is I am going to explain now? Indradin api yajetam iha tattad yajane bhagavatanam sangataha bhagavati achalo bhavaha bhaktihi bhavati iti yad etava neva nisre sasya parama purushar dasya vodayaha labaha anyatu sarvan tucham ityardaha ityesha. So the meaning is. Purvokta nana devata yajanasyapi. That means in the previously, in this chapter, previously for starting, we are seeing that worshipping of various demigods. That also, that worship also should give the result of what? Bhakti. Bhakti yoga. That should be the result. Indradin api yajitam iha. So if anyone worship Indra and other demigods, Tattad Yajine Bhagavatanam Sangataha. So worshipping, while worshipping them, Bhagavatanam Sangataha. That means by the association of devotees, Bhagavati Achalo Bhavaho Bhaktihi Bhavati. So that means they will get the fixed devotion in the Lord. So that, so that is only the, that is only the, Purusharda, Nisre Sasya, Parama Purusharda, Vodayaha Labha. That is only the ultimate benefit. Anyatu Sarvam Tucham. Otherwise, remaining thing is, is just useless. Sarvam Tucham. That means worshipping the demigods and getting the material results is just a Tucham. Tucham means it's very cheap. Uh, this is the Sridhar Swami Stika. So, after this, what Jiva Goswami is saying, Atra. Indram Indriya Kamastu Ityad Yuktam Indriya Patavadikam Pratakvena Falam So Bhagavatena Samyogetu Bhavaha Falam 
ಸೊ ಕಾದಿರ್ಯೂಪ ಸಂಯೋಗೆ ಯಾಗಸ್ಯ ಫಲ ವೈಶಿಷ್ಟ್ಯವತ್ ಇತಿ ಜ್ಞೇಯಂ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ದಿ ಇಂದ್ರ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಕಾಮ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರಾಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ದೆಮ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ so but bhagavata sanghena tu but if you get the association of devotee and if you do the worship of the servants or demigods then what is the result that is the bhavaha bhavaha phalam that means bhakti is the result example is given kadir yupa samyoga so when you use the normal that means normal pole so then there will be normal result but if you use the kadira trees pole then you will be getting the special result so this is the samyoga pratakta nyaya what is samyoga pratakta nyaya so for example i already explained to the bhakti vayu students so example is if you do a sacrifice while doing the sacrifice animal sacrifice previously in the previous ages they used to do the animal sacrifice before giving to before giving that animal as sacrifice they they are tying that to the one pole one pole yupaha what is this animal <laughs> this is not our type <laughs> i don't know some animal this is this animal is tied to this this animal tied to this then after that they will give sacrifice to that so this pole is normal pole pole means yupaha in sanskrit we say yupaha if it is normal pole then he will get the by giving the sacrifice after tying this animal to this normal pole and if you sacrifice this animal you will get the normal result samanya that means the prutak prutak normal result but if you use this pole that means he is made up of some normal wood then you will be getting the normal result but if this pole is made with the khadira wood khadira or khadira khadira so khadira from the khadira tree this wood is coming then what will happen this by sacrificing that animal you will be getting khadira yupaha then you will be getting the special result process is same that means giving the animal uh, sacrificing the animal this is the same process but only thing is one thing is changed this pole is changed then result is also changed similarly here this is samyoga pratakta nyaya here it is samyoga that means kadira samyoga is there so that's why you got the special result here without the kadira samyoga is there then you will be getting the normal result individual so now the point is demigods you take the for, how to apply this for our purpose if if you worship the demigod then you will be getting the x result like any individually if you worship different different demigods so you will be getting the normal results only fruitive results temporary results like here if you have the different different normal woods different different normal not kadira yud would but different woods 
you will be getting the normal results not the special result so but that means is prithak separately you will be getting the results individual worship of the demigods will be leading to the normal result normal result but same demigod worship plus association of devotees then it will lead to special result that is bhakti association of devotees this is leading to the bhakti and this is the special result like kadira if you use then you will be getting the special result ha ah, demigod worship with the association of devotees so that's why finally what he is saying even that means etavan eva nisreya sodaha that means var ejitam iha etavan eva nisreya sodaha nisreya sodaha that means for the demigod worshippers also this is only the ultimate result what is that with the association of devotees that demigod worship should lead to the bhakti otherwise without the association of devotees if they simply do the demigod worship that is going to give that is not that's that is not recommended actually that is not necessary tucham that is cheap that means here samyoga association samyoga is there then we get this special and prithak is normal result this is these are all prithak separately were worshiping and normal result samyoga prithak that means same demigod worship but with the association of devotees leading to the bhakti but the same demigod worship without association simply normal result tucham same would same process without the kadira tree normal result but with the kadira would giving the special result yeah bhakti next turn cheda अनतरम श्री शोनक व्यतिरेकोक्त अभिधेय दृढ़ीकृत यथा सो दट मीन बै दिशील सुखदेव गोस्वामी इन दर्ड चाप्टर श्रील सुखदेव गोस्वा गोस्वामी स्पीच इज ओवर देन आफ्टर दट सोनक इज स्पीकिंग विथ दि सूत गोस्वामी वाट इज से आयुर्हरति वैपुंसा उद्यन नस्त चौ तस्ते यो नीता उत्तम श्लोक वर्तया सो सन् आयुर्हरति दट मीन बोथ बै रईजिंग अंड सेंग द सन डिक्रीज द ड्यूरेशन आफ लाइफ आफ एवरी वन एक्सेप्ट दैट टाइम विच इज यूटिल फॉर डिस्कसिंग टापिक्स ऑफ दि supreme lord so that means without the spiritual discussion whatever time is spent that is just stolen by the sun that time is stolen by the sun it's simply waste of the time and that is the time it is utilized you can say which is spent for the discussing the topics of the hari here in this असौ सूर्य उद्यन उदगच्चन अस्तम चीन गच्चन हरति वृथागामिवाद बलाचिन्नतीवीन सन बै रईजिंग अंड सेंग वैल रईजिंग अंड सेंग डिक्रीज द लाइफ स्पैन सो दट मीन time is simply wasted decrease life mass life span is time is simply wasted 
destroying life forcefully that means so life is destroyed simply forcefully by the this next yad yena kshanopi nita but if anyone spent who oh, here anyone spend the time for the discussing the glories of the hari tasya ayuhu rite varjaitva that means his life is not destroyed so that means this is a true except for those who spent even a moment by speaking about uh, about the lord that means if they don't speak about the lord then their life is completely destroyed by the by the sun otherwise if you speak about the lord then those will be saved that means they those will be given chance to do bhakti and their bhakti will increase because once bhakti started it will not end so that's why tasya ayuhu rite varjitva tavateva so sarva safalyam iti uh, so that means only accept those people here is you see sloka meaning is little different and this anvaya is as a term commentary is little bit different so but the uh, same concept is same simple thing if you want to understand simple language if you don't spend your time in the bhakti then that is is wasted and that is stolen the time is stolen from you that's the main point so that means bhakti is glorified here okay next nanu jeevanadikam eva tesham ayushah phalam astu tatra aha so tar, one may say oh how can you say their life is stolen they are eating they are breathing they are sleeping they are doing sex and they are producing the children so how can you say their life is stolen if they don't remember the krishna if they don't discuss the past tense of the krishna how can you say porupakshi is raising the question then we are saying that so what is the use of that kind of life if which is not utilized in the service of the lord which that means the person who ever is not hearing the past tense of the lord are discussing that so then even if he drinks and even eats sleeps so that is equal to what it is said next taravah kim na jeevante vastra kim na susantyuta na khadanti na mehanti kim grame pashavo pare so the translation is do the trees not live that means even trees are also living so what is the value of living that kind of life do the bellows not breathe bellows means you know yeah blacksmith actually he uses so to get so that that uh, air so yeah the fire will be raised so the, so to 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 burn this iron actually so to mold the iron they burn it so for that fire is needed to increase the fire they need air so bellows they use yeah so by that bellows so what will happen bellows are also breathing so one may say that person can produce the children then what then what is said do the village animals and animals animal like men not eat and mate the point is even animals also eating and mating so what is the value of grame pashavo pare grame pashav means so village animals apare means animal like people animal like men so that's why we thought doing bhakti bhakti is emphasized mainly that is the point we should namehanti namaithunam kurvanti tanapi narakaran pasun so they are all what narakara pasu that means they are all also like this next one is 35 tadeva aha स्वविद्वरा होष्ट्रक संस्तुत पुरुष पशु न यण पथोपेत जाग्रज वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस सो इट इज दट स्वविद्वरा होष्ट्रक संस्तुत पुरुष पशु न यण पथोपेत जाम गदाग्रज दट मीन दिस् ह्यूमन एनिमल नराकार पशु who's here whose ear has never heard about 
about krishna is praised by dogs hogs camels and donkeys that means wh- whoever is not hearing the krishna katha they are all praised by the dogs hogs camels and donkeys means or dogs hogs kaisa how they can praise that means they are all appreciated by the so that narakara pashu they are also in the human form but they are all actually dogs hogs and camels and donkeys so so such kind of people only will appreciate so not the so yeah others devotees so that's why swadi tulyaihi tat parikaraihi samyak stutah api asa upurushah pashuhu that means he is glorified by the people like donkeys hogs camels and dogs okay tesham madhye shreshtah che tarhi mahapashu reva so he is glorified that means he is a best pashu that is the point okay thank you very much so any questions yeah hari krishna yeah. prabhu can you please explain again the connection with uh, i think we get um when jiva goswami is quoting the verse from mahabharata how is this related to the discussion about tivana ah oh, which one this one na huh? previous yes, about about uh, lord vishnu being worshiped at home or something like that bhakta kshana kshano vishnu this one yes so here also say said same thing na so bhakta kshano kshano vishnu smriti seva swaveshmani swabhojya syarpanam danam phalam indradi durlabham that means by worshiping the lord you see all these three things are saying what offering to the lord worshiping the lord in the house and spending time on bhakti so that result is is not compared phalam indradi durlabham that is indradi durlabham you can take like this also you cannot get that kind of result from the indra and other souls the result what you get from the bhakti that you cannot get from the indra and others also we concluded that there is if one has material desires they need to do strong tivra bhakti but there is no way they can do tivra bhakti without association of devotees yeah so that means the 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 subtle conclusion is that whether one has desires or without desires they have to always remain in association of devotees without uh, without because that is the point we are going to establish in the next coming anushyadas without association bhakti is not possible actually and association and also by regular association only you can maintain the strong bhakti it's not uh, possible without association uh, that's why pralad maharaj prutu maharaj all they even i am in the naraka no problem but give me the association of the devotees so they ask because to continue bhakti even pure devotees they are also desiring this so then materialistic man doing this strong bhakti ah uh, for materialist doing this strong bhakti how it is possible without the association so obviously that means they are also pulled actually pulled to the that means association and get do the yes strong bhakti so that with the association they will also understand this suddha bhakti that will turn to the suddha bhakti in that way as internal understanding ya yeah, mahasev prabhu uh, hari krishna pruji pruji this question is from yesterday yesterday's discussion yes prabhu uh, when we were discussing that uh, shravanam is uh, highest that context shravan, is, yes yes shravanam pradhana is a main yeah so that uh, pradhana means highest only no project the main 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 yeah okay so basically you mentioned two more point one when somebody has asked about the question in context with the yogis then you said that yoga process is very difficult so like shravanam 
it's like uh, easy to do and more pure. And second, with the smarnam also, you said that the smarnam is not possible without a pure heart. So my question is that sravanam is uh, pradhana uh, from the sense of ease of doing or in the absolute term, it is highest. Shavanam, the way it purifies heart, no one can purify. And Shavanam, it will give their service at the lotus feet of the Lord. That's the main point, actually. What the Shavanam is going to do? The way Shavanam purifies the heart, that is not going to happen by the any other process. Gnana and karma, they cannot purify. Or yoga cannot purify like that. Karma means by doing the prize chitta, you cannot purify your heart. Gnana means by following some strict life, you cannot purify. By yoga also, you cannot purify. The way you can purify, because here Sukadeva Goswami is saying, what is that? So, Ashayam, what is that? Uh, punanti, te vishaya vidushita ashayam. That is the thing. And here, out of these three also, why we are taking Shavanam as Pradhana, what is the base for that to say is main? Because before to that sloka, we are seeing the Shravanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam. But out of that, he is particularly selecting Shravanam and saying that. So this heart is purified by that. And also one will get the service at the lotus feet of the Lord by that. So that's why we are considering Shravanam is the Pradhana. But when compared with the Smaranam, then because you said that uh, only those whose heart is pure can do Smaranam. Smaranam means Prabhu, that is not the Smaranam of this Bhakti, Navada Bhakti. That Smaranam is, is the process, Dharana process, which is the one of the limb of the Ashtanga Yoga. Okay. In that chapter, if you see, in that chapter, what we are seeing, Ashtanga Yoga is described and in that one stage is Dharana. Dharana stage means so meditating on the Lord. So that meditation is not possible. That means meditating on the Paramatma. If that is not possible, then one should go for the so Virat Rupa, meditating on the Virat Rupa. That is the general yoga process is explained. Of course, that is a, their, their object also is Lord only. But uh, that is a yoga process. That is a Bhakti Misra Yoga. That is not pure devotional service. Their Smaranam is not the pure devotional service. Okay. That is a Bhakti Misra Yoga, that is. But within devotional service, Prabhuji, whether Smaranam will be like higher than Sravanam or how it will be. Like definitely Chaitan Mahaprabhu said that Taramadhi Sarvasrishnama Sankirtan. We don't, we should not mix, actually, that's why that is a confusion. So we should not mix the Smaranam, which is a part of the Ashtanga Yoga with the, the Smaranam, which is in the Navadha Bhakti. Yeah, correct. That, that is point is clear. Yeah. So, uh, there, of course, many times devotees get bewildered. Oh, here also, he is also meditating on the Karnano, sorry, Shirodak Sai Vishnu in the heart. Mm. Oh, this is also devotion. No, that is not devotion. That is the Bhakti Mistra Yoga. That is yoga. Correct. They are making uh, Paramatma as their object of the worship only for the focus. So, some object is necessary. That's why. And that is simply yoga. There is no devotion. There is no loving relation. Yes, Prabhuji. But my question was within Bhakti, Navda Bhakti, Smaranam is also there. Yeah. Within Bhagavad Gita also it comes. So sometimes devotees said that Smaranam, Smaranam is higher. Like that I have heard. So I wanted to clarify this. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said Tarasmadhi Sarvasas Nam Sankirtana. So which is highest? Even in the, if you see in the same second or second, first, second kind of first chapter, Kirtanam is the, is the highest. Kirtanam is the highest. Why it is said like that? If you see the second kind of first chapter, uh, that sloka number is, one second. Uh, and what is Etan nirvidya mana nam itchatamakuto bayam yogi nam rupanirnitam harir namanu kirtanam. It's eleventh. Second canto, first chapter, eleventh sloka. You'll be seeing, so there kirtanam is, is glorified so much by the same Sukadeva Goswami. So, what is this? Then here he is glorifying the Shravanam. 
in the starting of this canto same this canto just one chapter before so why it is given like that what is the reason here he is saying that kirtanam is also he said uh, there here shravanam is main he said but here kirtanam is highest he said main and highest they are different so one second uh, i am just uh, recalling this uh, so it's a big comment actually <laughs> uh sridhar swami is vishna chakra tagur is we can take vishna chakra tagur it is easy actually <laughs> I didn't explain that Jugo Sam's comment. That's pending. Okay. Anyway, here what is said here? So, etan nirvidya mana nam ichchata makuto bhayam yogi nam rupa nirmi nirneetam hare nama nu kirtanam. Here it is said that nanu sastre bhakti he abidheeta vagama deva tatra bhakti shangesh madhye Maharaja Chakravarti Vat Kimeka Mukhyan Nenede Tatraha Nama Anu Kirtanam. So here, Srila Vishwana Chakrathakur is saying, is there any emperor among these Bhakti Angas? There are the nine Angas are there. Who is the emperor? Who is the chief? Who is the chief among them? So then that is said, that is Kirtanam. Kirtanam is the chief. Why he is chief? Why is a, is a Maha Chakravarti, Maharaja Chakravarti? Why? Because Sarveshu Bhaktyangeshu Madhye Shavana Kirtana Svaranani Trini Mukhyani So Tasmad Bharata Iti Slokyan Uktani. So out of these nine devotional process, three are the prime Shavanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam. So Teshu Trishu Api Madhye Kirtanam Kirtanepi Nama Leela Gunadi Sambandini. Tatasya Nama Kirtanam. So out of these three also, which is prominent, which is which is superior, Kirtanam is superior. So in that Kirtanam also, what kind of Kirtanam? Nama Leela Gunadi. So in that also, what is a superior? Nama Kirtanam. Tatrapi Anukirtanam. That means Swabhaktyanu Rupa Nama Kirtanam. That means according to the, your devotion. So that names only you should take. You are worshipping the Narsingh Bhagavan and you want to you want to be a devotee of Narsingh Bhagavan and you cannot worship the Rama's names. So what kind of bhakti you want to do? So those names only you should chant actually. So that means out of nine, these three are prominent. Out of these three, Kirtanam is a prominent and uh, is the highest. And in that Kirtanam also, Rupa, Nama, that means Nama, Rupa, Guna, Leela. And that also Nama Kirtan is the highest. In that also, so bhakti anurupam. According to the, your devotion, you should do the kirtan. Those names only you should take. So nirantara kirtanam va nirnetam purvacharyehi api. That means nirantara kirtanam. One should do the continual kirtanam. So nakevalam maya eva aduna nirnete. But it is not just decided by, by Sukadeva Goswami. But Sukadeva Goswami is saying, it is decided by yeah long back that means yoginam nirnitam that means all the great sages they decided this so that's why kirtanam is is best kidrisham akuto bhayam iti kala desha 
ಪಾತ್ರೋಪಕರಣಾದಿ ಶುದ್ಧ ಅಶುದ್ಧಿಗತ ಭಯಾಭಾವಸ್ಯ ಕಾವಾರ್ತ ಭಗವತ್ಸೇವಾಧಿಕ ಕಂ ಅಸಹಮಾನ ಲೇಚ ಅಪಿ ಯತ್ರ ನೈವ ವಿಪ್ರಪದ್ಯಂತೆ ಇದು ಭಾವ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ರಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸರ್ಕಮ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ನ ದಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಡಿಸೈರಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಅಕುತೋ ಭಯಂ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಔಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಔಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಫಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಕೀರ್ತನಂ ಕಿಂಚ ಸಾಧಕಾನಾಂ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೀರ್ತನ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಸಾಧಕಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಸೊ ಬೈ ಹಿಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ಡೂ ದ ಕೀರ್ತನ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕೀರ್ತನ್ ಓಕೆ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಚೌಕಿ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಶಿಂಗ್ ಕೀರ್ತನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸೊ ಜೀವ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಶಿಂಗ್ ಶ್ರವಣ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಧಾನ so that is pradhana means that is first you should do that pradhana and uh, kirtan means even at the stage of the siddha if you become siddha they, that then also it is it is done so that's why it is it is like a maha chakravarti mm-hmm. so but smaranam you are not going to do smaranam so even when you become siddha then you are always with the krishna then what kind of smaranam is necessary but kirtanam will be doing mm-hmm. like that uh different context you we will be seeing like this so sometimes shavanam is the highest and sometimes kirtanam also thank you very much okay okay thank you very much sila prabhupad ki jai